Hi, hi friends. So today we're gonna go for inverse matrix part two, the second part of uh, inverse matrix. All right, so before that, we check our homework first. Okay, exercise 6.4, question two, right? 2A uh, is to find determinant and also the inverse. Okay, I will just leave my answer like this. Okay, if you want to compare the answer with the one with the textbook, then it will be, um, it can be written as this. 1, negative 0 0.2, uh, positive 0 0.5 and 0. Uh, the answer at the textbook there is a negative 0 0.5, so it's wrong, uh, the textbook there. So this is our answer, okay? You can take your answer if your answer is like this or like this, right? If it's wrong, uh, please do correction, okay? And then part B, negative 1, please tick, and this one. Okay, this is the answer. Uh, by the way, this one, you, we don't leave it outside like this. We don't leave our answer like this lah, because this one is negative uh, 1 over 1. It's nicer to write this way, okay? Part C, okay, is uh, determinant is 0, so inverse doesn't exist. Okay, part D, inverse is 7, and then um, this is the answer, or negative 2 over 7, 5 over 7, negative 1 and 2. Okay, or this one. And then part E is negative 2. And this is your answer. Or negative 3.5, negative 1.5, 2 and 1. Okay, this one also can. And part F, uh, determinant 0, inverse doesn't exist. Okay, so I hope your working is somewhere like this near. Okay, and then let's look at number 4. Number four, a is uh, k is negative three. We we are looking for the determinant which is equal to negative three and find the unknown. Okay, we are solving linear equation here. And question uh, four also, yeah, we need to find inverse. Okay, this is answer. Or if times in, then your answer is one, two, one over three, negative two and negative five. Okay. And question five. The answer is n equals negative two, uh, negative ten, since it's singular, so your determinant is equal to zero. Okay, so by now I hope you already master your inverse. Okay, through this exercise given, okay, and also through the video explanation from the previous lesson. Okay, so now let's go for the part two of the inverse. Okay, so you have uh, mastered your inverse matrix, the technique of inverse and let's recap back if you remember is 1 over ad minus bc and then this one must interchange and then add a negative okay i hope you remember this one as your inverse matrix okay so uh, this is the technique of inverse matrix so i hope you already mastered this and now when we go for part two okay i want you to look at these two okay if this is algebra right if this is algebra okay if this is unknown and if this is not matrix, what we do is x equals to b over a, right? If we want to find a, x, for example, if we want to find x, what we do is we uh, move the a, become divide, am I right? But as I say, matrix division, okay, is not possible, okay, it's, it's not possible. So what we have to do is we have to include the inverse, okay? Because this is the case for matrix, okay? A, x, and b here, all these three, all these three are matrices okay all these three are matrices okay if these three a x and b are matrices if we want to find x if we want to find the matrix of the x what we need to do is we have to move the a okay also to the other side but it's not division okay we have to use uh, multiplication of the inverse okay so this a when we move over it will become a inverse multiply with b okay but when we have the position of x and a different with this if the position is different when we move the a we have to move next to it okay so your x is equals to b and your a inverse is like this okay now why is the position different Okay, why is it matter? Because remember, when we multiply A and B, it's not the same as B multiplied with A. I'm talking about in matrix context, huh? not algebra. When we talk about matrix context, uh, multiplication of AB and multiplication of BA is 
different. Okay, so when we say different, the inverse matrix, the position of inverse matrix after you move over to the other side will be different as well. Okay, so okay, you look at this first. You focus on this. If your a is in front of the x, when you move over to this side, and if you want to multiply with the b, you have to uh, move it in front of the b and a become a inverse. Okay, and if your position of a is next to the x, when you move over, it will be next to the b as well. Okay, so if this one is in front of the a, when you move over, it's also in front of the, uh, in front of the b, in front of the x, in front of the b. This one is next to the x, next to the b. Okay, so when you move over, become inverse. Okay, these two, please copy it down. Okay, so besides knowing about this, okay, you need to know about this as well. If we have matrix A, and if we times back with the inverse, okay, we will get identity. Okay, identity matrix is the one that one zero zero one that one. Huh? By two by two matrix is a one zero zero one. Okay, I'm talking about two by two matrix, huh? So, if your A times multiply with A inverse, you will get identity, and it is special for this case because if A inverse and A the balik you will also get back the same thing which is identity matrix okay this is a special case here okay if we times the matrix a with its inverse we will get the identity okay so this is a special case please note that down okay this tree is important okay so let's go for try 10 okay find the value of pq in the matrix equation okay so if we want to find PQ, what we do is we move this matrix here, right? This whole matrix to this side. Here. Okay, so it will become inverse. Okay, we, we must inverse this one first. Okay, we inverse this one and we move it to the front. Okay, for example, this is matrix A, this is matrix X, and this is equals to B. So your matrix of uh, X will all equals to A inverse B. Okay, if I let this as A, this as matrix X, and this matrix as B, what I do is I have to find the matrix inverse and move to the front of this matrices as B. Okay, so we find the matrix uh, inverse of this first. Okay, we are finding the matrix inverse of this. Okay, so matrix inverse, the inverse is uh, 1 over determinant. Okay, the determinant is 3 times 2 minus negative 4 times 1. And then 3 and 2 interchange. Add a negative, add a negative 4, become positive 4. Add a negative, add 1, become negative 1, like that. And it will be equal to 1 over this one plus 6 plus 4 is 10. And 2, negative 1, 4, 3. Okay, I leave my answer uh, like this. Okay, so uh, this one. Inverse, what we do after this inverse is now your 3, negative 4, 1, and 2, when we move over, right, it becomes an inverse, right? So it will be in front of this matrix. Okay, PQ is here, equal. Remember, your PQ is just like the X, and your X in A inverse is this, so I copy the whole thing. 1 over 10. Then the whole thing is 2, 1, 4, negative 1, 4, 3. And your matrix of this, bring it down. Okay, can you see that? PQ, PQ. This inverse, move it to the front and negative 14, uh, negative 14 and 12 uh, move to the back. Okay, I move this inverse to the, uh, move this as inverse to the front. All right. And then, okay, after this, it's easy already because everything is multiplication now. Okay, 1 over 10, I will leave it outside. Don't times in. We settle this one. Okay, this one in the end, we will get 2 by 1 because this is 2 by 2. This is 2 by 1. Our final answer will be 2 by 1 answer. Huh? So, this one, multiply with that and sum. Multiply and sum of it. And then the one below is this one with this. Okay, so this one is negative uh, 
negative 28 plus 48 and this one is 14 plus 36 okay simplify this one become 20 this one become 50 okay and then after that okay this one i can actually times it in uh, it's easy because we want to find the value of p and q right so 1 over 10 times with 20 i get 2 uh, 1 over 10 times 50 we get 5 okay just like that so final answer because they're asking us to find value of p and q so your p is equals to 2 and your q is equals to 5 okay because that's your pq Okay, just like that. Of course, there's another method where you have to do a simultaneous equation. Okay. Um, you times another method. Huh? This one times with this equals to negative 14. So you will have 3p minus 4q equals to negative 14. And this one with this equals to 12. 1 times p and then plus 2q equals to 12 and then you have to do a simultaneous equation to find the pq which you will also get this answer okay but this is also considered easy because inverse right just minus and then uh, tukar here and add negative and then multiply that's it also can okay but for this trade 10 what i want you to do in your textbook is this method because we are learning matrix right so do this method Okay, this one addition, if you want to do, you do it after this step, after this method 1 and method 2. But I'm not going to show you this simultaneous equation. Lah. Okay, so now uh, I've picked a few questions from exercise 6.4 uh, to show it how, how to do. Okay, exercise 6.4, page 233. Okay, I'm going to do this question uh, 8. Okay, question 8. So let's do this together. We practice together. Huh? So part A here, find the inverse of Q. Okay, so we find the inverse of Q first. By this time, I hope you already master your multiplication and your inverse. Huh? So Q inverse is 1 over determinant. 6 times negative 2 plus a plus. I don't want to do shortcut. Minus 3 times negative 3. Okay, normally I do shortcut I negative, I straight away become plus. But uh, I'm showing the working here, so I'm not going to do the shortcut. And then 6, negative 2, interchange. And I add negative, add negative, become positive like this. Okay, so this one will become uh, negative 2, 12 plus 9, which is negative 3. If you want to do slowly, right, for example, if you want to find the determinant first, then only you sub in here also can. Okay? Or you can straight away do this find, finding inverse also okay. Okay, so this is your answer. Or if you times it everything in, you will get this answer. Okay, it's the same, huh? I'm writing both down. Lah. Okay, now let's look at part B. Part B here. Qx equals to P. We want to find the matrix of x. Okay, matrix of x, we want to find, right? So we have to make x a subject and the Q, we have to move. So when we move here, it will be uh, inverse and it must be next, not next, in front of the P. So x equals to Q inverse multiply with P. Not like this, ah. Huh? This one is wrong, ah. Huh? If you move the Q like this, it's wrong because this multiply and this multiply is different answer. So it must be like this. So Q inverse, you already have it here. Okay, Q inverse is here. Okay, multiply with P, your P is here. So I'm going to sub it in. Q inverse, I will use this. Okay. Multiply with my P. Okay, P is this according to the question. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this uh, 2 by 2 with 2 by 2. Definitely the answer is 2 by 2 as well. Negative 1 over 3, I leave it outside and then I multiply. Okay, now your practice on your multiplication again. Okay, this time I'm going to do it fast. Huh? So you try to do by your own first. Okay, practice on your multiplication. Okay. This one. Eight. Okay. 
Okay, so two by two, huh? So this one is like this. Okay, you check your answer with my answer whether it's the same or how I do wrong careless mistake, huh? Or you can leave your answer by times everything in. Okay, like this. Okay, so part B just like that. Now let's look at part C. So part C is Y multiplied with Q equals to P. Okay, this is the question. And now we have to find, uh, we have to leave matrix Y as your subject. Okay, now we want to find matrix Y, right? So we move the Q to here okay because it's next to y right so you move behind okay so it will become y equals to p multiply with q inverse okay it's different with part b you see that it's different okay so this question 8 i'm doing here it's um the one that i show you in the notes this one how i'm applying this to part B and C here, okay? It's different. You see the position is different. Q inverse times P. This one is P times Q inverse. Okay, because this is Q times X. This one is Y times Q. The position of the Q is different. Okay, so when you multiply this, okay, your Y is equals to, okay, your P is negative 1, 4, 2, 1. And your Q inverse is, okay, I'm using this, right? Okay, I can put my negative 1 over 3 in front here. Okay, so not kacau lah if I put it here. Like this, huh? Okay, so negative 1 over 3, I leave it outside. Okay, and then I solve uh, multiplication matrix. Multiply like that. I think we have done a lot of matrix multiplication already. I hope you guys really, really master. Huh? Like when you see, you know how uh, straight away times without uh, which one row, which one column, uh, which one times which one like that. Just like how I'm doing it now, straight away. Okay. And then this one with this. Three plus one times six. Okay, I'm doing it a little bit fast, but then I hope you guys can uh, do it. Can pause the video and try your own first, or if you're following this, you see whether I got careless mistake or not. Ah, it's eight, negative five, uh, fifteen, and negative six. Okay, or I'll multiply everything in become negative 2, 2 over 3, 1, 2 over 3, negative 5 and 2. Okay, so I've done A, B, C. Okay, let's look at number 10. Okay, question 10, also you copy. Yeah. So question 10 here. Okay, I'm doing this for you guys and show you how to do it. Okay, so this question, we are finding M. Okay, this is similar with your try it 10 that I show you just now. Okay, it's just that this one is not written in PQ. This is matrix M. So I'm going to move this here become inverse so m will be equals to the inverse of this multiply with negative five zero right the inverse something like this so what we're gonna do here is we have to find the inverse first before i do this okay so i find the inverse first okay inverse of this of this huh? is one over ad minus bc ad minus b times c Bracket interchange at negative. This is 15. Okay, and then 2, negative 3, 1, and 6. Okay, I got the inverse. Okay, so now I'm gonna find my matrix M. 
Okay, uh, this whole thing like this. Uh. Matrix M, since I'm moving this inverse, this to this side become inverse. So the inverse of this multiply with my negative 5 and 0. This one. Okay, become like this. To find my M. Okay, so this is 2 by 2. This is 2 by 1. My product will be 2 by 1. 1 over 15, I leave it. Okay, 2 by 1 means this one times with this one first on the top. And then the one at the bottom will be uh, this one with this. So negative 3 times negative 5 plus 6 times 0. Okay. And then 1 over 15. This one I get negative 10. This one I get 15. And my matrix M is equals to negative 2 over 3 and 1 okay so I've shown you uh, exercises uh, from 6.4 okay so now it's your turn to do the homework okay. so your homework for today's lesson is only this okay homework uh, this is exercise 6.4, uh, page 233. Okay, question number 9 and also number 10B only. Lah. Okay, that's all from me today. See you guys. Bye-bye.